I'm Tom Mintier. Everything is on target for discovery. They have crossed the California coastline and will be landing shortly at Edwards Air Force Base in California. We have a live picture now from the tracking cameras down at uh, Dryden. You can see in the center of your screen the outline of the space shuttle as it is making its way towards Edwards Air Force Base. About an hour ago, the deorbit burn occurred. This is a critical 2 minute 37 second burn to slow the spacecraft down. It's 100 tons and it runs about 207 miles an hour slower. Then the atmospheric re-entry occurred at about 9.04 this morning. Everything went well. Shortly after that, they had a hydraulic in the auxiliary power unit heat up a little bit, but not enough to cause a severe problem. So landing time, the actual touchdown to the runway, 9.35 a.m. Eastern Time, 6.35 a.m. Pacific Time, just after sunrise. When they entered the Earth's atmosphere, they were coming in at about 16,500 miles an hour, but they will slow down considerably by the time they reach the edge of the runway, slowing down to 213 to 226 miles an hour. They will be landing on a concrete runway today uh, at Edwards Air Force Base, landing on the concrete to test the brakes on runway 22. They have specially redesigned the brakes so that one day they may return to the Kennedy Space Center where it is more critical. When they touch down, the orbiter will weigh considerably less than when it took off, 194,460 pounds. The uh, satellite, the TDRA satellite, is now missing, and that was a lot of the weight coming in. Approaching the heading alignment circle. As you can hear, people on the ground just now getting their first glimpse of uh, the orbiter as it is uh, angling down and trying to uh, curve around. This is a ground camera you're seeing. This is what they're seeing in California. Discovery rolling left as Commander Coates brings the vehicle. Used to weather, light winds. Commander Coates bringing the vehicle around the heading alignment circle. Range about 12 nautical miles, velocity uh, 0.7 Mach, altitude 21,000 feet, descending rate of 230 feet per second. All data looks good in mission control. Now about 10 nautical miles to the runway. Angle of attack 7.2 degrees. Flight Dynamics Officer reports looking good, rolling on the final. Now processing the microwave landing system data. Altitude 12,000 feet. Discovery on glide slope, on center line. Surface wind 195 at 6. Roger. Altitude 8,900 feet. About 5.5 nautical miles to the runway. The weather at Edwards Air One Force Base perfect this morning, about 25,000 feet of ceiling and visibility of seven miles. So now that it is five miles within the end of the runway, people are getting a very good view at uh, Edwards. Seated in the uh, captain's seat and the co-pilot seat, uh, Michael Coates, the commander of Discovery, and co-pilot John Blaha. CNN's uh, Greg Lamont is uh, at Edwards Air Force Base and uh, joins us live now. Uh, do you see it, Greg? Well, we uh, see the shuttle, as you do, uh, landing right now. It's landing to a crowd of uh, estimated more than 450,000 people that have been jamming in here all week long. 20 seconds to touchdown. All right, as you can see, the wheels have uh, just come down. They're about uh, 30 seconds to touchdown. Landing on runway 22, 300 feet wide, 2,000 feet long. Gear touchdown. Discovery now rolling out onto final. The 
hear the Star Spangled Banner over the speakers being played to the crowd that has certainly got its money's worth today. Greg, this is a larger crowd than uh, a lot of people expected to see a return of a shuttle. Well, this is the third flight since Challenger that has, uh, has landed. Why so many people? Well, one thing I think is the last uh, mission was a, a secret mission by the military and the uh, crowd, the uh, people were not allowed, the public was not allowed on the uh, dry lake bed. This time around, uh, you've got a lot of people that came out here to party on the desert floor for St. Patrick's Day weekend. Uh, you've got uh, folks that are on uh, Easter vacation that have brought their children out here to see a shuttle land. And uh, you've got folks from colleges that are on spring break and you've got the folks that are always out here for shuttle landings. And so combined all of that together, the holiday weekend, the St. Patrick's Day weekend, and uh, uh, Easter and everybody being out of school, it has uh, added up to quite a crowd, 450,000 people. They say 88,000 vehicles are out here today. All right, CNN's Greg Lamont live at Edwards Air Force Base in California. You're seeing a live picture of Discovery as it sits at the end of the runway. They will be uh, moving in some safing equipment uh, so they can take some of the air out of the cargo bay and uh, make sure that uh, this shuttle is safe before the astronauts uh, make their exit. It takes about 40 to 45 minutes uh, after landing before the astronauts will be uh, stepping out back onto Earth after five days in space. Five days in which they launched a $100 million communications satellite that will help NASA tremendously in their communications capability by setting up a satellite system that will save them $27 million a year by closing down some ground stations. There were a lot of experiments on board, too. All but one seemed to work well. There were some 32 chicken eggs in space for this week, and uh, we will be following the progress of that as uh, those eggs are allowed to hatch and we will find out how they progress. So the 28th mission of uh, the shuttle, Discovery.